You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi, friends. Hope you're all doing well. And I have another wonderful show for you today. If you haven't subscribed yet to our CNA TV, please do the old gentleman port a big favor and hit the subscribe button down below. As sunrise breaks into daylight, I smile. One more sip of green tea and my day will begin. I'm glad to have had these moments. I'm thankful for the peace of this morning. Trips down memory lane, it's where we've labored and loved and laid up our rich store of friends and times remembered. The mingled lives that give the Ozarks its texture. We're guided by the belief that the past comes most colorfully alive when it's told through the memories of those who really lived it. These are the times in our lives that are ripe for reflection and transformation. Discover the peace you've been searching for and begin to understand and experience what true happiness really is. My hope is that by sharing with you, my fellow traveler, I will have enriched your journey. The diversity among Earth's creatures is mind-boggling. For example, there's variety in the flying ability of birds. The tiny hummingbird weighing only about one-tenth of an ounce can perform complicated twists and turns and can fly backwards and even upside down. The flexibility of its shoulder joints allows it to move its wings forward and backward in a horizontal figure eight, beating them as many as 75 times per second, a maneuver that enables the hummingbird to hover near a flower while it drinks nectar from it. But the hummingbird can't soar or glide as some birds can and its legs are so weak that it can't hop. It has to fly even to change positions on a twig. On the other hand, the ostrich at 300 pounds, the largest of birds, can't fly, but its legs are so strong that it can sprint at up to 50 miles an hour, taking strides of 12 to 15 feet. Hmm. The peregrine falcon, or duck hawk, is about the size of a crow, but it is the fastest creature on earth. It can dive after prey at more than 175 miles per hour. Wow. These differences are small when compared with the differences among humans. People have an infinite variety of special qualities and talents. Managers and supervisors should keep this in mind. Each individual has his or her own unique gifts that can be used to make the workplace and the world a better place. Everybody is unique. 
compare not yourself with anybody else, lest you spoil curriculum. Create a self-portrait, a drawing, or a day model that illustrates what is unique about you. Who are my contemporaries? I sometimes see men who smell of fear anywhere in the world and feel that these men are not my contemporaries. But a Chinese poet wrote a poem about a goat herder who is far from his beloved and yet can hear in the middle of the night in the middle of the snow, the sound of her comb running through her hair. And reading this distant poem, I find that these people, the poet, the goat herder, and the woman, are my contemporaries. As we practice our daily arts, if only the composing of a heartfelt letter, we are engaging in the special qualities and themes of the soul. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. Looks like it's feeding time for the pups, Cora May and Bubba. So we'll see you next week, friends. Until then, this is John Willard from the farm.